Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Business with SHMSS. Today in this video we are going to learn about IRR which is called uh, Internal Rate of Return. And to know, uh, to learn IRR, you should have a thorough understanding about net present value. I have given the link in the description below to learn about net present value of my video. Please uh, watch that video before learning IRR. So we will calculate IRR in Excel in this video. So let me give you a brief introduction about net present value. So the net present value, uh, we call it discounted cash flow, treats prime time value of money into account by converting or translating all the cash inflows into today's value. And it also adds investment in the sense it's a cash outflow to the calculation and sums up investment and all present values of future cash flows the rule of npv is if npv of a project is positive then you have to accept the project and if it is negative then reject the project and npv is one of the method to perform project appraisal to select the best project among multiple projects so this is also one of the separate topic that we have to learn in business so we will learn in future videos uh, please subscribe my channel before uh, going to the next slide so you can get future videos and you can get press the bell icon to get uh, notifications about my new, new videos let us go to our main topic which is irr internal rate of return IRR is a financial metric that is used to measure the attractiveness of an investment whether to select an investment or not. Likewise, effective estimate of rate of return after accounting for all its estimated cash flows with time value of money. So there is an estimated cash flow and, and it's a uh, estimate of rate of return that is the rate of return that we are going to get after accounting for all estimated cash inflows and outflows with time value of money so the time value of money is considered when calculating IRR is a very important and it's a it's a, it's a reliable method to assess or evaluate a project whether to accept it or get away from the project for multiple projects let's say we have three two three four five projects so we have to select the best projects so we can say rather than projects we can say investment opportunities that we have got three uh, investment opportunities so in this case which project or which investment that we have to select to be more successful so higher IRR project would be selected the project with higher IRR would be selected for pursuing so one of the draw tech in IRR calculation is this IRR is heavily depend depend on the cash flow projections cash flow projections it's done by analyst so they will have some assumptions or projections based on comparison of uh, other similar projects so it's very important to do the cash flow projections very reasonably to be more effective in decision making of selecting the projects so cash flow projection is very difficult to do so predicting what is going to happen in the future is not sure so it's very difficult to do that if we have relevant data and if we can use certain assumptions then we can do it at least to the reasonable level and the next thing is that irr is the point where the npv is zero so irr is a point where npv is zero it's not negative it's not positive it is zero so let us go to the calculation part of internal rate of return in excel yes uh, we have two examples of calculating irr 
before calculating IR, we have to first of all know how to calculate NPV. As I has told you before, you can refer my video for calculating NPV and after that you can come to this video to learn about calculating IR. Okay guys, then let us go to this topic. Okay, so uh, now we have project X. Now we are in we are going to invest one thousand dollars into this project X, which is a cash outflow, and it's negative because it's going out. And we have to consider this project is going to be uh, in the business that we are going to uh, do this project for the next four years then we calculate how much inflows that we can gain or yield from this project yearly let's say for the calculation purpose or the study purpose that we are using the same number for the for the next four years of this project which is 600 600 600 and 600 now we have to calculate as we already learned that uh, to calculate the present value for this project X. We know that present value formula is this present value equal to future value divided by 1 plus the weighted average cost of capital or discount rate or uh, cost of capital e to the power of n. n is number of periods, r is weighted average cost of capital. So in this calculations we have we know that the weighted uh, average cost of capital is 20% and uh, the present value ca present value that has been calculated for uh, for the next four years of this project is here 500 470 347 and 289 how did we calculate this as we already know that present value is uh, equal to future value. So let us uh, see the steps that we have used to calculate this present value. Here we can see the project X, the year 1 is the future value is 600 uh, divided by 1 plus year 1 plus R is 20 percent 0 0.2 to the power 1. Similarly, for the year 2, we have used the future cash flow divide by 1 plus 0 0.2 which is the weighted average cost of capital we call it back to the power of year 2 so we put 2 here here uh, we put year 3 and here we put year 4 so we get all the present value for project x so now what we are going to do is we are going to sum up all these uh, cash inflows and outflows and get the net present value which is 553 okay to calculate IRR in Excel just put equal sign and click uh, type IRR and simply you can drag or select these uh, five columns which is including the investments and just type enter you get 47.23 percentage so the NPV rule is to select the project with highest NPV with the IRR is IRR rule is to select a project with highest IRR if you can compare the IRR rate and the back is 20 percent and 47 percent which is 27.23 percent higher than the weighted average cost of capital so that this project is reliable and much it will give some more margin and this project could be selected to test this IRR we let us, let us do a calculation by putting the IRR rate as VAC or discount rate whether we will see it's coming to zero or not so uh, let us calculate the present value for the project tax so we can use equal uh, present value is 600 divided by 1 plus 0 0.4723 and 
close it to the power one so first here so we put power one and just drag this here and change it as power two second year third year and fourth year so we'll make it to a, a whole number and calculate and see the npv here see the npv here so the npv of this is submit and get the number as zero so npv is zero at the uh, cost of capital or arr of 47.23 so this is this is the way to check whether our irr calculation is correct or not let us go to the example two we have we have two projects project x and project y they have the same discount rate as 20 percent so we will calculate the present value for project x present value is future value divided by 1 plus 0 0.2 to the power of 1 we get 500 and drag it very easy way to do in excel excel so 2 3 and 4 Can we do it here in the same way? Yes, we can do it. So we have got everything here. Okay, we got all the present values for the project X and Y. Now we'll calculate NPV for the project. NPV is simply you are going to sum up all this cash inflow and outflow, then you get this. And then you get this project wise uh, NPV is 11. So, in this case, which project that are we going to select is the project with this highest NPV. So, when we calculate IRR for this project, for these two projects, so, so the IRR would be equal IRR and sum up this one and select it and same thing just drag it here to get IRR for project Y. So in this case which project that we can select? We can select both the project. Why we can select both the project? Because both the projects have positive positive NPV but this project project x is having the highest irr and the highest npv so go with the project x for this computations so thank you very much for watching this video